Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are on this beautiful planet. We would love to welcome you here. We've got some amazing community leaders that have congregated today to really share a very important message and invitation for everyone who feels uh, a heart calling in relation to all the crazy things that are going on at the planet at this time, but the opportunity that these um, challenges are inviting us all to really step into. So this particular live uh, is a very natural and synchronic orchestration between um, not just the six people on the screen, but there's more people involved, but it happened very, very quickly to really do something and to take a, a positively inspired, heart-centered action step into a world and reality that we all would prefer. And so we're very excited to welcome you today. And um, I'm going to hand it over now to Michelle just to do a little bit of a grounding in uh, before we move into more of the details of what this is all about. Beautiful. Thank you, Nicholas. And thank you to everyone that is here or maybe joining us later on. We welcome you in with, with all of our hearts and, and our being. And I really want to acknowledge the beautiful thing you see here on the screen um, as a representation of a greater team behind us. So we have um, Daniela Princey, who's also part of the team. We've also got Rach uh, Broom, is it, uh, Alicia? Oh, I've, I've lost. Yeah, sorry, you're on mute at the sorry. moment. But Rach Broom. It's, uh, Rachel Moore from we... Rainbow Tribe. Oh, Moore, yes, from Rainbow Tribe. We've got um, Harvardy as well with her community. Plus, I've also heard from other people overseas who are, who are willing to, to share what it is that we're doing with their communities as well and um, and start bringing this all together. So just know that we are just a, a representation of uh, a greater whole. And so to starting with that, let's all connect in with our heart space so that you can receive, align to and tune in to this energetic space we've already uh, created for you and and we ask for you to bring your own heart and creation into it as well and maybe just by doing that by connecting with your breath so that we can all breathe as one as one heartbeat as a representation of the earth's heartbeat coming into resonance Aligning with universal and natural law. So we can really find our best potential, our what's lying behind and beyond where we're currently at. And let's start by just giving yourself some gratitude. Gratitude for being here, gratitude for showing up, for being curious for asking, finding a new and different way, being willing to, to open, to listen, to be with others. We're really, really grateful for that. And also I wish to start with acknowledging the traditional custodians of this land, which is the one royal people that I sit upon, past, present and emerging. And I call forth the traditional custodians, the ancient ones, in all of the country where you, you sit. And we ask them to come and be with us, the ancient ones, to bring their wisdom, to bring their guidance, to, to hold this container and, and support us as we try to find that next evolutionary step. So with that, uh, I feel like if, you know, introducing myself first, um, if you don't know me, my name's Michelle Lewis. I'm the founder of the Evolving Energetics um, Community Online, also uh, the New Mudgy Conscious Community, and uh, and then also the instigator, or maybe just the the match to get this fire burning. That is the journey to wholeness, uh, which is currently named Freedom to Wholeness. 
and I was I was actually guided to to use that name simply because the name freedom, the word freedom, it is bringing up a lot of different things for people at the moment. And we're really looking at how do we move beyond the meaning that we attach to things? How do we move beyond um, the disparity, the uh, differences in opinion so that we can ha find our own voice, find where we sit within it, within all of this craziness. And, and it's like try to find our own true compass whilst not being affected by the others. And so in order to do that, you know, there's, there's some things that we can learn and do to be able to get into a place of neutrality. And so this is what I'm really passionate about. And the reason I stepped into this is this is what um, Source was asking of me, to, to call forth others like myself who are willing to be an example to, to lead, to share, to guide, um, to give an opportunity. So all of us, no matter where we're at, we can have a voice and we can be heard and we can be felt because I think it's pretty safe to say that everyone in the world is being affected at some level by what's going on. And this is a great place to find a unity within that. So I won't continue on too much because I'm sure there's a lot more that others are going to um, share with us. And, um, and so I'd like to sort of hand over to uh, maybe Alicia on, on my right on the screen and, um, and see what it is that she felt called. And, uh, and hopefully between us, there's something that resonates for you and you will join us on this journey moving forward. So thank you and thank you to everybody here. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so I have uh, co-coordinated the Dreamweavers Rising Tribe, um, which is a gathering of artists and creatives and music musicians, um, people that really resonate with connecting with the earth and with nature. And I guess one of the biggest reasons for me individually, why I was really passionate about um, sharing and being a part of this is to take care of my family. Um, and I have, we haven't actually shared this <laughs> publicly yet, but um, I'm 14 weeks pregnant. So um, for those of you who we haven't shared this with yet, I'm sorry that it's coming through a live stream. Um, and I had some very real fears around my own health and what that means for lots of different information that I'm receiving um, around being vaccinated or not being vaccinated. So that's a, a huge reason why I wanna understand where my fear sits and how I can neutralize that. And, um, you know, I've always been really passionate about supporting people's choices of freedom, even if they're different from my own. Um, so individually, that's kind of where I'm sitting at the moment. I want to understand how to hold that space of love and non-judgment in my family and community. Um, you know, my family are making different choices and there's some, there's some real, um, I wouldn't say division, but there's different choices being made and there's, you know, concerns around no longer being a part or, or fitting in or belonging or being outcast as the, the strange one. Um, and I think belonging is a really important part of being human. So that's the second part of the individual and on the collective, you know, we want to gather together in our communities in a way where we feel safe um, to express ourselves and be heard and understood in our different choices and not afraid to hug each other and um, be around each other. So, you know, we still want to be able to hold these gatherings um, amongst all of our communities, I'm sure. And I think that means that conversation needs to be free, open and uncensored. Um, and just to understand what we can do at a higher energetic level to really um, understand better what what power we have as incredibly um, divine, intelligent, multicellular beings that um, 
you know, we don't beat our hearts. We don't, we don't even breathe our own breaths. And I just feel like there's so much more power that we have to tap into. So I'm excited to share this amongst the community for those people who um, want to understand more about what they can do for themselves and their families. That's me. And who wants to go next? Would you like to share, Jo? Thanks, Michelle. Um, thanks for sharing that, Alicia. And congratulations. Oh, that's so cool. Um, so I uh, I founded, um, I'm the founder of Central Coast Conscious Community and Love Fest. Um, the whole purpose of it was to, you know, really bring leaders and communities together for, you know, to come together with love um, and um, spread that um around and spread that love everywhere um so that's what it was all about and we came together with um meetups and festivals and in other ways as well uh, we now have a hq headquarters in newtown where we've been um hosting events so until before until the lockdown we were hosting events on a daily basis we were pretty much booked out every night um, and um, the momentum was building and it was really exciting and a place where you can kind of go and um, you know you get to meet like-hearted people you know that was what it was really about and um, you know artists facilitators healers musicians um, people running workshops education um place where you can really connect on a deeper level um it's quite magical uh i feel really grateful that i got to uh, experience that for three months um so uh, what's happened for me is um you know it all just stopped all of a sudden um and I personally have a problem with authority where, you know, I really want to, if I want to do something, uh, you know, um, I'll make it happen. Um, if I really believe in it, you know, with my heart that it's, it's right, you know. Um, so I, I kept doing things and um, started community connection circles regardless. Um, had police come at my door and, um, you know, we managed to, um, get through it and, um, you know, they, they really, yeah, it was a bit challenging in the beginning because they can be aggressive. Uh, but you know, we kept our call cool and we, you know, kept reacting from a place of love, um, as much as we could. Um, I did lose my temper once. Um, and so uh, we eventually had to stop, you know, um, even though they said what we're doing is a good thing, you know, we had to stop. And so uh, I put the message out there to the community to find out how everyone's feeling and there's a lot of isolation happening. Um, we're looking into ways of continuing, you know, to speak into health New South Wales. Um, there's people that are really struggling out there, you know, um, and they reached the boiling point um, during the Freedom Rally uh, about a, uh, on Saturday, where there's a lot of anger. There was a lot of anger rising, um, and a lot of anger rising from different sides. Uh, you know, uh, people abusing each other. Um, uh, there were in the communities that I, um, I feel like it's my responsibility to, to lead. Um, there was, you know, emotional abuse, death threats, um, businesses that 
crashed completely, not just because of lockdown, but because of, you know, uh, degradation, bashing from others. Um, uh, a lot of fear rising up, a lot of hatred. Um, uh, and most of that's on Facebook, funnily enough. Um, I'm curious to see how it will be if we can get two people from different sides into a room. Uh, you know, what What I realized is that um, there are people that I know and that uh, I feel compassion for um, on both sides, you know, like if you want to call it two sides, one side is the, you know, the anti-vax and one side is the pro-vax and, you know, we must stay home and do the right thing you know, so, you know, we can get past this together. Um, and the other side is, well, I'm for freedom and, you know, I want to be free and I want to have choice, you know, to do what I feel is right, you know. And so there's two polarities that have been happening and it's like a horseshoe that kind of comes around and the people that are at the extreme of both sides, from what I've experienced, they're actually very similar, you know. And I have compassion for both, both of these types of people, you know, so, so, and then there are those that sit, you know, amongst the horseshoe and then all the way to the middle. So I'm here doing everything I can to see, to see, look at the whole picture, you know, and think about, and the question I've been asking lately is, um, how can I, what can I do to, um, you know, bring everyone together in peace, love and unity, you know, how does, how does this work, you know, and, and what popped up was, you know, probably some kind of connection circle or something like this, some kind of zoom, you know, I'd love to have, um, you know, people that are on wherever you are on that spectrum or on that horseshoe, you know, I'd love to have a conversation together, you know, on both sides of the spectrum. And let's, let's talk about it, you know, and so this, vision kind of popped up and I'm like, okay, how am I going to facilitate this? And I'm like, you know, I didn't know yet. Like I'm struggling with how to make it all happen. And then all of a sudden I receive a message from Michelle <laughs> and, um, um, you know, explaining, talking to me about what we're creating here. So um, thank you for um, the initiative, Michelle, and for inviting us um, to this circle and, you know, really looking forward to what this can bring. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Joe. I could really feel you know, the things that you're sharing. And I think as as uh, community leaders, we've all had personal experiences, not just, you know, our own direct experience of some of these things, but also really witnessing some of the people in our communities really struggling with it. and. Um, yeah, a really great opportunity to to be able to come together and move beyond that. And like you said, have those conversations and, and know that there is actually a way to move beyond that polarity and that strong emotion and use it to fuel a new way forward. So, yeah, thank you for that. Thank you, Alicia. Um, I'm going to ask um, uh, Anurag to, to come in and share as, as well now, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Hi, everyone. I'm Anurag. <clears throat> I'm born in India, but grew up in Canada, and I'm currently in Mexico. Um, and um, so I've worked in the area of transformation in, for almost 30 years now. And um, some years ago, we're, you know, for spent many years uh, delivering programs, workshops, trainings, training trainers, designing programs, and um, I had a view that I was helping reach critical mass in the state change of consciousness. And then I had an observation and I said, I don't think I, or what I was committed to having happen in the world, I didn't see happening. And I um, made a distinction of myself making a difference versus the difference. And I decided that uh, delivering uh, just programs wasn't, wasn't the thing, They're doing that every weekend and stuff. And that was... Um, so I started to like study uh, proliferation, what causes things to spread. And my, my, my view became to, uh, there's a couple of things. I saw 
one thing is of, of bringing transformation to people and then sending them back at 100 miles an hour into models that didn't that were born of a different world and then watching them get dragged back in so i set about to create uh and take five areas that i saw as the pillars um, education wellness entertainment business and homes and communities and to build prototypes in those areas to build alternatives so one of our philosophies is criticize nothing and offer compelling alternatives and so i uh, spent a lot of years designing developing and right now like friends have a project in a Mexico, where we're taking a school from nothing and going to, to redesign from absolute scratch. The idea in each of these cases, like to provide the equivalent of the first airplane, what is it to, with a curriculum for being in a school that redefines education? Uh, we're, we're, looked, we're doing a home, now we're actually calling it living space. It's not really, it has a living space, a space that's alive, home and community, also from the same thing, doing the life regenerative business model. Um, in a, a, a new aspect and approach to media. Um, so uh, just the point is we're just working on those models. And for me, um, the way forward is, okay, whatever, this is what's going on. Uh, now, what should we do? What do we want to have work? And let's design that, not, not fight or resist anything, but to create that which serves um, and moves us um, into a place to step to versus to place to step away from. I think that's mostly it. Um, and so, you know, and uh, I, for me, everything is always perfect. I have this mantra. I have two mantras, one that's, that served me in life. One of them is I'm wrong about everything. I'm pretty sure I am. I just like everything. I always find it really funny how um, righteous we can get about because every day science says, oh, we were wrong about that. And then I look at my own transformation and every time I have one, I go, oh, wow, that was, ah, I was so, but then, and I, we have, I live under this kind of rule that the latest thing is the truth. When the evidence shows that all the shoes that I'm wrong every time. So <laughs> I'm going to discover very soon where I'm foolish at today in my next transformation. So um, then the other one, so that gives me some space to look. And the other one is, what is this perfect for? Either there's a flow state or I'm out of flow state. I ask myself, what is this perfect for? It may take me a second. It take me a week. But if I stick with it, I can always get what this is perfect for in a flow state. So for me, my question in this whole environment right now of what we're talking about is what is this perfect for? And that's my approach. Beautiful, thank you, Anurag. And um, yeah, it's great to hear all these different expressions of, of uh, something that is unifying us. So uh, Alex, would you like to share as well? Sure, thanks, Michelle. Hello, everyone. Nice to be here with everyone right here. And watching. Uh, so I, uh, I started uh, Unity the Meeting Place, which is an annual festival actually with Jojo over there as well, and a couple of others, Raf and Ronan, shout out to those guys. And uh, the Unity community that founded around that, it's all about bringing different people together, uh, different people with different perspectives from different places, from different directions, because together we have the power to heal the world. And um, I think you know, just to riff off what Anurag just said, I love that because starting to see what is, what, where's the fertile soil right now? You know, there is so much, I, I think we're all aware, like Joe summed up, you know, the two polar sides of what I think a lot of us are seeing at the moment really nicely. Um, but at the end of the day, that's all an illusion, you know. Um, if, if something's polarising us, we have to look into ourselves and see, how we can come back to our heart and what's 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 the conflict within each of us and within our communities and i think that that's the, the the beautiful thing right now that we have that opportunity to take our relationship with each other to a much deeper level to, re to take the relationship with ourselves to a much deeper level take our relationship with the earth to a much deeper level and really work out what are we here for what, what why are we actually here the the circumstances that we're in at the moment can't be denied we're here for some reason what is that reason and what can we actually do together to get to the place that we all want to be and there's so much juice in that there's so much we can do but as long as we're getting stuck in the differences as long as we're getting stuck in what separates us then we're not going to get there so i think what's really really important is to start hearing people that's why i'm so excited about this 
this mechanism that we're creating here to allow everybody to have their own voice, to be heard, because when we hear each other, our compassion grows, we come from the heart, we start to see other people in their uniqueness, in their divine beauty, and they don't need to be the same as us, you know, and, and we can appreciate people for that. I think it's, I think there's so much potential in this time. So I just want to get back to that point of what Anurag said, what can we actually do now that we haven't done before? And how can we take a meaningful step forward out of the commotion that we're feeling? I also studied the Tao wisdom uh, with my teacher, Master Ji Gang Sha. So I'm a soul teacher as well. And I understand the universal principles and laws that's taught through that Tao wisdom. And one of the principles, one of the one of the ancient sayings, wisdom sayings, is success and disaster happens at the same time. So there's always success and disaster. So what do we choose to find in this time? And what do we choose to move with into the future? I think it's really, really, really exciting. So I'm super happy to be connecting with community leaders. And this is so, so important. So I'm really, really grateful for Michelle and Nicholas and everyone behind the scenes who's put this together. Yeah, beautiful, Alex. And uh, yeah, thank you for for those great points and and, and expressing it so beautifully. Um, Nicholas, do you want to follow up a little bit more around um, why you get you've been called into this and what's really important for you? Yeah, thanks, Michelle. Thanking Alexander, Anurag, Alicia, and Joe. Thank you so much for your sharings and thanking everyone for being with you today. Some great comments coming through. So basically, in a nutshell. Um, my name is Nicholas Perrin, and there's two kind of key things that are really important for me. Uh, the Lionheart Path is um, a creation of mine that is really to support people to connect into their heart wisdom and to find their own unique um, path and to courageously create that and, um, and align every, every element in their human living existence to uh, that truth. And then the New Earth Paradigm work, which is more in the last four years, is looking at it at a bigger level, which is what would society look like and how can we interact with one another uh, from a more evolved level of consciousness. So what, what really moves me is how can we support the raising or the expansion of consciousness? And then next to that is what would society actually look like? How would we interact? How do we spend our time? What sort of governance models, economic models? Um, how do we interact with the, with the earth? All of those different elements connected to community living um, really move me. So what's happened um, in, in recent times or why this has really ignited something with me is I feel a little bit what you were sharing, Alexander. We're in a, cha in a, in a chaotic node, but the breaking down of the old is going to is the fertiliser for, for the new. And so what I'm recognising is how can we use this for the highest and best for all, for all concerns? So what is this teaching me, me personally? But inviting everyone to instead of projecting their belief systems and worldviews and um, understandings uh, onto other people uh, and trying to convince others to believe what they believe, um, just really bringing it back to, to ourselves and really, really being honest and doing the inner work, clearing out the charges, really be paying attention to what are the emotional uh, energies that are really permeating within me and then what Alexander was sharing is how can we actually how can we have conversations of difference within the sphere of harmony so even if you know we're having a conversation with others and we really don't agree with them which is absolutely fine how can we still be in a peaceful space honor that person honor their journey honor everything that has got them up to that point without needing to change them or without needing to uh, convince them that my way is, is the right way or a better way. And, and so that's um, this initiative or this action that we're taking today for me is, is an inspired step to move into that, into that area. I'm also connected with a group called the Divine Civilization Rainbow Plasma Group, which is basically looking at um, New Earth Paradigm Living and uh, Alexander, Anurag, Michelle, and another person from Italy called Leo is involved in that. So we've been going through a very, very deep process um, over the last four or five months, uh, exploring, um, moving forward. So 
And one of the key things that really has been merging or igniting within that group is creating a community of communities. And I feel a lot of joy and excitement that this action step is actually that creation. And it happens super organically and naturally. And and, and um, it's just been such a beautiful uh, opportunity. And so the, the creation of this new Facebook group that we're going to be inviting people to come into um, is really a, an opportunity to, to move into wholeness and to transcend the, the dualistic tendencies and moving out of the right-wrong paradigm and moving through acceptance and neutrality, moving uh, into, into wholeness and being able to hold all of that. So this, all of that really resonates uh, with me strongly and I'm, I really um, appreciate and, and honour all of the people here. Uh, everyone's very committed and there's also a lot of other people uh, other community leaders that are committed to. So just really honouring all of that. Thank you, you all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Nicholas. And yeah, thank you, everybody, for your sharing. And of course, uh, I'm sure that there's others here in the comments as well that uh, are wishing to to share their reasons for why they're here and and putting their energy into this space. And uh, we're, we're definitely in a, in a huge spiritual evolution at, that the whole planet's going through. We're seeing a structure and system that is breaking down and in that breaking down, that's, you know, creating um, pain and suffering for all of us. And just because uh, we are leaders here, it's not to say that we don't feel the, those judgments come up enough that we uh, get angry and upset or, or hurt by things aimed our way. The difference is that, you know, I, I can attest for these beautiful people here in my interactions that they all found ways to be able to neutralise that energy within themselves, to find that sacred place in the heart, to then be able to communicate in a way in which other people can hear them, in which other people feel um, honoured they feel respected for their perspective. We're not here to change you, to fix you or anything, but we are here to offer you some, some, some tips, some things that you can do in those times where you're feeling emotional overwhelm, where you're feeling like you're not being heard. And, uh, and so this is what this space, um, the, the, the group is uh, created for, for this last, for this week. So starting from today and already we've had some beautiful people sharing and putting into the space exactly what they're feeling. It's not about aiming at anyone. It's not trying to project blame or anything else. Just really owning your feelings, what's happened in your story and what it is that, that you might be feeling you need support about. And then letting the next person have their share. And if it brings up, as you listen to someone and it's a completely opposite perspective to you, how can you use the reaction within your own body as a way to transform those emotions and then we can put it to something that's useful. And, and the reason is that our emotions, they are our power. It's energy and motion. And if we learn how to contain that and direct it with intention, then we can actually open up so much space. And especially together as a community, it creates so much space for this new paradigm, new wisdom, new ways to come in and to, to guide us. So this is what we're hoping to do. So in the group, please get in and share it's not an opportunity for you to, to knock anybody else, but just to really take responsibility for your feelings and then get in and share your post and have your say. We will also put out some questions for you because we really want to bring that emotion to the surface. And as you can probably hear, as people connect in and share from that emotional space, it creates that, that connection. So, um, yeah, we'd, we'd love for you to, to share your perspectives and what information you've gathered around that. And then on Wednesday the 4th, we will come together to, to do a powerful transformation together. So we will guide you and lead you through that. 
So if you're really struggling, please reach out. You know, not only can you reach out to people on the page, but you can reach out to these leaders and especially those that the communities that you may be connected with. We're all here to support you. Sometimes we just need someone to stand beside you and say, I hear you and just breathe alongside you and uh, not try to fix it or make it better, but, you know, just be there in the feeling with you. So um, if there's any questions, please feel free to, to reach out and, and, and either post the questions or, or send it to us privately. And just know that there are so many others also behind the scenes. And they're the ones, they don't quite have the courage yet to be able to step forth because they've had so much trauma. So as we do it for ourselves, know that we're doing it for humanity too. So really go into the depths of what you're feeling, express from that space, let us connect in with it, let us feel you and let us be there with you as well. And, uh, and I really look forward to, you know, what starts to transpire within this space. So um, is there anything else that anyone wants to share before we've got maybe just a few minutes left where maybe we can just really honour and, and be with whatever may have come up even in this uh, live, uh, what might be required for you to start sharing moving forward? Is there anything that yes. anyone would like to add? Yes, I just want to just uh, just to make make it really clear on on the action steps from here, just so everyone's really really clear. So what's happened is we've done a Facebook live, gone, which has gone into many different communities, and um, so what what we've now created is a separate private Facebook group. Uh, it's free to come in, um, but it is an opt in, which essentially once you come into the group. Um, between now and next Wednesday, you will have an opportunity to share what's going on for you in relation to all of the different scenarios playing out. So, for example, um, whether you are pro-vax or not, mandatory pa uh, vaccine passports, uh, the lockdowns, and, and a whole host of many other different issues and, and things that may be touching you or may not be touching you, uh, in, in whatever way, as Joe mentioned, the horseshoe aspect. So your perspective will be um, honoured and respected. Um, we do ask that people do not um, comment, like uh, trying to correct other people's sharings. It's just really about your own sharing. And just for you to really acknowledge what is going on for you in relation to this. And then we will be holding on uh, next Wednesday a two-hour approximately two hour group energy transformational experience where we will transform all of the different energies. So everything that you share will be connected to the collective unconscious and you will be supporting others. So your sharing is really important because you are representing, you know, a, a large group of people. So please feel free to really share what's true for you because you're representing others that may not be in this space. And then we will transform and we'll continue to transform and then there will be other uh, activity that will come forth from this, so uh, which we will share um, as we move forward. So I think the community leaders will come together and we will uh, continue to work together to see what it is that we um, can put in place to really support everyone. So I just wanted to make that clear. And we will also include a link in the uh, below so you can clearly access this group um, once this transmission is over. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Nicholas, for summarising that. And just to let you know that this is also the beginning. Like, uh, I felt this was just a perfect platform with such a, a heightened uh, response within the collective at the moment to, to bring this aspect forth, but knowing that there's so many other things yet to explore. And this will be, you know, an opportunity to step into where we start to build our emotional, our mental and our energetic resiliency, our adaptability, how do we really start to tap into some of those potentials, the magic, uh, possibilities beyond what we've already um, perceived so that we, we can really start sharing this amongst each other because the more that we do, we actually activate resonance with us all as well. And we're, we're here to, to build a, a new 
a new way of living. And if you really feel that calling to step in and, and do it alongside others and know that you'll be guided and supported, then this is really a wonderful opportunity. And it's a it's a playground for you to get in and really be active in it. Don't sit on the sidelines because you're going to miss the opportunity. Get in there, share and, um, and be active because we've got a whole week here to bring forth as much as we possibly can. So in that, I give thanks to all of you for being here. And if there's anything that's arising with you now, as, as we finish off, we might just sit uh, with our hands on our heart and, and breathe with you and just let it come up. You know, whatever might be sitting in, the, in your gut and making you feel sick, just breathe it up. Offer it back to the earth saying this is not working for me anymore maybe it's an emotion maybe it's grief the grief in realizing our earth and the way we've been living is not going to return back to normal yes it is evolving but it's not going to be the way it's been and sometimes it's a, a deep realization of that truth that brings you know feelings of lo loss and grief so together we can be that with you And then also know that in your deepest grief, on the other side of that is the joy. And so we can flip from one reality to another when we choose that that is what is most important for us. So we will provide you with some opportunities. We will be able to give you some guidance. We'll be right there with you. We'll also be sharing how we're feeling. And, um, yeah, we just can't wait to see what, what comes forth so if there's anything that anyone else wants to share otherwise that's it for me thank you to everyone make sure you check out the the link make sure you get in and start sharing uh, any questions reach out and know that we're here for you and we're going to do it together so wishing you lots of love and uh, let's go play <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Is Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. Sending my Thank love you. to everybody. Yeah, thanks for being here, everybody. We'll see you over the next week. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.